Hello YouTube viewers and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be creating a repeater bridge between two DDWRT flash routers. Basically what that means is we're going to have a router downstairs which is the original one at the moment running a VPN and then we're going to have an additional router for the upstairs to expand the Wi-Fi and it's going to connect to the downstairs router wirelessly. Basically, it's not having an Ethernet connection between the two. So, first of all, we're just going to need to open your original router. So, we're going to call it router one or downstairs router. And that's the original one that's actually running at the moment. It, that doesn't need any configuration whatsoever, if providing that's running obviously at the moment. Uh, all we're going to do with that is just take your wireless details out of there. Let's open a browser. The setup at the moment is how it's actually configured. However, what I'm going to do is do a factory reset and obviously go through the settings for you. Because this is basically router one, which is the uh, downstairs router at the minute. I've renamed it router one for the uh, demonstration purposes. It's running a, v a VPN with NordVPN. So if you click uh, status, obviously you can see the VPN is connected. So we just basically need to open the wireless settings. What I will say is I tested two routers with earlier firmware and after the re it worked fine until after you rebooted router 2 which was the ups um basically it wouldn't reconnect it was like the uh, dhcp server wasn't served giving it an ip so i updated to the latest firmware which has only been out for two days uh, by kong at ddwrt both routers i will say are an r7000 although you can do this with doesn't matter what routers you've got as long as they're uh, flash with ddwrt and i believe also nowadays which i've just read which i wasn't aware of the original router downstairs hasn't actually got to be um, a DDWRT router providing the channels match up and the SSIDs obviously the same. So without further ado, what I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm not going to write it down because obviously I know what they are myself, but what I would recommend is you write these this information down. Also, it, you can only connect or you only connect with one wireless bridge basically between either your 5 gigahertz or 2.4. Now currently I've if we just nip to the to the router number two. Currently I've got this in repeater mode on the 2.4 and it works fine. But for demonstration purposes to prove obviously it's working on both, what I will do is uh, when we set it up in this demonstration I'm going to do shortly, is what I will do is I'll set it up on uh, the bridge on five gigahertz network. Basically it should give faster um, Wi-Fi signal, obviously it's going to communicate to the downstairs router faster so hopefully that should work so once you've got uh, back onto router one the, the the router doesn't need configuring i was only showing you that i don't want to complicate matters but that's obviously an actual working repeater bridge at the moment it, the only other thing that you need is your wireless security key you can click click on wireless security and just click on mask mine's pretty simple at the moment on snowman 33 okay back to router two now what i will say Downstairs router is obviously connected to uh, a modem or it's connected to your existing ISP router. It's running a, v it's running a VPN. It's not going to be running a VPN for this to work, but obviously in this case, just to show that it does work, um, we've got it connected to a VPN. Obviously, that's just as is, basically. That's, that's a working router. So, number two. Currently, I've got it connected to the PC. Obviously, uh, router one is not connected to the PC. But what I will say is, in router 2, which we're going to call the upstairs router, it's connected to this PC at the moment via an Ethernet cable. And then obviously that is connecting to router 1 wirelessly, which is obviously how we want it set up. So for configuration purposes, you're going to need an Ethernet cable uh, into a laptop PC or Mac or whatever from router 2, which is the one that we're going to configure to do this. So what I'm going to do to start to set it up from fresh, I'm just going to do a factory reset. So what I'm going to do is do a factory reset and while that's resetting what I will do is uh, fast forward the video or just cut that bit out just so obviously uh, it saves you waiting around. Okay welcome back. Obviously at the moment because we've done a factory reset it's defaulted to 1.1 so uh, when we sign in we're going to change that straight away. So uh, create your username and password admin and then tab it and then password. Tab it again and then click change password. First of all, what we're going to do is just to save any confliction after we've configured it, we're just going to change this straight away to to, oh, to two. And then we're just going to click apply settings. You may not need to do that, although I do like to do it just to stop obviously any uh, any problems. 
Okay, so now that's changed and we've applied the settings, we're going to have to go back up to the uh, URL bar. In the URL bar at the top, just type in 192.168.1.2, which is basically the IP that we've just changed this to, and click enter. And as you can see, now we're into the interface again. Um, click on the wireless mode, come down to the 5 gigahertz, change the um, wireless mode to repeater bridge, mixed. Basically, what we're doing here is this is copying what's in your router one configuration. Obviously, we're copying the five gigahertz settings that are in router one. Um, leaving DDWRT, um, change that to channel 36, 80 meg, and click save. And then at the moment, we'll just we'll just leave that as it is. Although I'll change that to channel 11, so we don't have any conflict anywhere. Okay. And then what I'll do also is we're going to add uh, the actual repeater bridge, which is, uh, sorry, the repeater, which is upstairs, basically Wi-Fi for the 5 gig, uh, gigahertz band. Click it, add interface. We'll call it the same as what we've got everything else has, just for simple, sim, uh, simple terms. And click save. And click uh, wireless security. Click unmask, unmask. WPA2. Waited till I've done that to be honest with it. So, Snowman. Uh, 33. Copy that. Change that. We'll change that. So, basically, we've got them all, all the same path. Let's save to that. Now we don't want to apply the settings at the minute. Um, come over to security. And what I would say is just disable all them apart from filter multi mask, multi cache, should I say. Uh, and click, uh, is it save and then disable? Okay, so basically disable it, disable them all, and then just uh, you have to click back on uh, filter multi cast. Okay. So that's the wireless side set up. Okay, let's just double check everything. We haven't touched this really. This is uh, what I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put onto NG. Although it's it's just basically because I've got no nothing wireless that's less than N. Um, you may have, you may not want to change that. I mean, there's lots of other settings we can change as well, but we aren't going to get into that in a minute. Um, so we'll apply, let's save that. And then basically we're going to come over to setup now and now pop in here the IP of your um, first router. So it's 192, you press tab, 168, press tab, 1, tab 1, and then, <coughs> excuse me, 192, 168, 1, tab 1. Okay, and also we're going to change that to router 2. And what we're going to do is just change this to obviously UK time. Click save. Now before we apply the settings, uh, as you can see, we're going to have no uh, internet at the minute because obviously it's not connected to the uh, the WAN, uh, and at the moment we haven't pushed the settings for the router. So let's just double check everything. So. It's not going to conflict because we did change the uh, IP originally. These are the IPs, obviously, of uh, the main router, which is uh, router one downstairs. The wireless connection, we're going to connect to downstairs with the repeater bridge on the five gigahertz network this time, not the 2.4. Um, we've set up the, um, the, uh, the wireless ID, which is basically a virtual interface for upstairs. So that's going to push the five gigahertz upstairs. And this will be 2.4 upstairs. Um, security key we've obviously set up. We've set the uh, firewall. So really we're ready to apply settings. Now while that's just applying, what I'll do is if I can go down to uh, here and type in command. And bring your command prompt up. I'm going to ping although it's already working because I know my cameras have just gone. Uh, ping.8.8.8. .8 We're going to get a reply back because obviously I know it's already working. So now if we come across to the internet, 
obviously that you can refresh that or just open another browser type in news and obviously you can see that's working now well, let's just check the IP to make sure that uh, it's going through the VPN which and there's the VPN uh, IP so guys that's how you do it it's as simple as and as easy as that uh, any problems um, now what I would say just just before I go is just be aware guys if it's not working I would recommend just updating your DDWRT build because I had a problem as I say earlier it worked fine until I did a reboot on, re on router 2 if you like the video please give me the thumbs up and obviously uh, if you like subscribe to the channel it would be much appreciated and uh, hopefully catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.